Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at email header injection. We'll explain what email header injection is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is email header injection? In applications that allow users to type and send mails, email header injections are where users are able to craft parameters that cause additional mail headers to be added when constructing the mail. What causes email header injection? These vulnerabilities occur when user input is sent to the server without verification against a whitelist or first filtering the data. The user's data can contain sequences of characters that modify the parsing logic. To understand email header injection vulnerabilities, let's look at an example. Here, a web application allows users to ask questions through a contact form. The mail address where questions are sent to remains a mystery. An example of raw output for a filled-in form can be seen below. As you can see, the to address remains a secret for users. An attacker would like to know the destination address and decides to try a header injection. The percent %0a is URL encoding for a new line character. As a result, a new line with a BCC field will be added. This will cause a copy of the mail to be sent to the attacker, revealing the destination address. Email header injection could cause several issues. A contact form with an unknown destination address could be manipulated to leak the address. An attacker could change the list of recipients and launch a spam campaign to a large number of addresses through your application. Or the attacker could add additional information to the mail and change the list of recipients or modify the message body when it's supposed to be a fixed value. To prevent email header injection, developers should never trust user input. Apply filters on all user-provided input from GET and POST parameters and remember to also check cookies and other HTTP headers. Finally, apply whitelist input validation. Libraries are often available for this in different frameworks. Congratulations! You have now completed this module, Email Header Injection.